Yeah, so this is my Canon PowerShot G12 camera. I've had it for, for many years and it's been a, been a pretty good camera. It's getting very old now, uh, but it still still takes great photos even compared with, uh, with, the, with the mobile phones. So um, I still like to take it out from time to time. Um, however, I managed to, I didn't drop it, but it, it copped a bit of an impact. And ever since, uh, I've got this weird effect where um, I'm only only getting sort of you know, sort of ultraviolet coloured images, and yeah, a bit of distortion going on there too. So I thought I'd just at least have a have a look at it, open it up, and, and see if there's something obvious if the if the connector's dislodged or um, something simple like that. So let's give it a go. We'll, we'll open it up and uh, see what we can do. That's the first time I'm, I'm ever opening this, so I'll take you along for the ride. I can see a few, a few screws that are obvious. If there's a few less obvious ones. Uh, I'll start here at the bottom. Keep note of uh, some of the sizes of these screws and which ones go where. It's actually one handy thing when you when you film yourself doing something like this is you can always go back and have a look. All these screws have got thread lock on them. That's the sensor there. Um, I can only assume that some of these connectors have become dislodged or disturbed. So I think I might just start by pushing them down gently and see if that's enough to to get it going again.
there's no memory card in there, but look, I think the image is back. I think uh, did say connector have become dislodged. So that's actually a um, really simple fix. Whether that's going to hold up long term, uh, I guess we'll we'll find out. But let's put the the cover back on, and um, yeah, it's actually already starting to look at the the newer range of um, Canon cameras, but. I think I'll just try and get a few more years out of this one and uh, see how we go. Like I said, I do love this camera. It's actually a good good thing I recorded that video before because I had to go back and double check which screws went where, but I think it's all gone back together and um, got a proper image again. So uh, yeah, let's see how it holds up. Um, I guess there's potential there also to just behind that connector uh, maybe have some foam uh, to apply a little bit of pressure between the, the case and the, the back of the connector, but. I mean, it, it didn't come like that from the factory, so it shouldn't really be needed. Um, we'll just see how we go. I'll take a little bit more care of it, and uh, hopefully it doesn't receive any more impacts. Okay, there you go. I hope there's um, something there that, that might be of use to you if you've got the same camera and the same problem. I, I did see some comments online that other people had the same issue, um, but there were no no solutions in the in the forums or anything like that so hopefully this helps someone out all right thanks for watching we'll we'll catch you next time